Hi, I'm Anna Sims. I'm a PhD student at the CDR and uh, I'm the lead author on this new paper, Super Infection Exclusion Creates Spatially Distinct Influenza Virus Populations, which focuses on virus interactions within a host. In the wintertime, with all the viruses flying around, um, there's a higher chance that you'll be infected by more than one virus um, at the same time. And the interactions between those viruses affect virus evolution and in the most extreme cases they can lead to the um, generation of um, influenza strains with pandemic potential. But the way these interactions happen within a host is kind of unknown, um, so we wanted to look into how these interactions um, happen and what uh, conditions restrict them. What was cool was that we actually used a kind of old classic virology technique called the plaque assay that's been around in its current form since the 1950s um, and then we combined that with much more modern kind of um, fluorescent influenza viruses and more modern um, microscopy techniques to have a look at the viruses as they they spread outwards so it's a very pretty paper it's got a lot of nice images in it <laughs> so when we looked down the microscope we could see that in cell culture and in mouse lungs um, it seemed like the viruses formed kind of territories or an area of infected cells that then block other viruses from infecting that area. Um, and this leads to kind of a patchwork effect within the lungs um, where virus populations can interact with each other and some areas where they're blocked from interacting with each other. So when the first virus gets in, the second virus only has a period of time before it can enter the cells and then after that time period it's blocked. And we found for flu that it's um, between um, four to six hours kind of. It, the onset starts at two hours and then it gets harder and harder for the second virus to get in. By restricting the interactions between viruses it has an impact on viral evolution and also can restrict um, how often pandemic influenza viruses can um, be generated and understanding these processes will help us better understand under what conditions those kind of viruses are generated. Um, but a kind of cooler finding and kind of a bit of a nerdier one is that um, this kind of territory establishment and defense is something that we see in like many different disciplines in biology so you know you think of ant colonies protecting each other or tree canopies being unable to touch each other and um, it's interesting to see that viruses are doing the same but in a microscopic level um, so yeah it seems like from our findings at least it suggests that um, the establishment of territory, the hoarding of resources and the defence of those resources matters as much to viruses as they do to orca pods or snow leopard um, prides. <laughs> Read the paper, it's got pretty pictures! <laughs> it's a lot of fun, I promise.